Before we review the Radford Type 62 to 2 John Player Special, let's take a look at the Radford Lotus Type 62 Racer. This is the new Radford Type 62 to 2. It's a reimagined version of the 1969 Lotus Type 62 Racer which uses the same supercharged 3.5-liter V6 engine as the Lotus Exige. It's also the first new car from Radford in more than half a century, after the coach-building firm was revived by Jensen Button TV personality Ant Anstead and designer Mark Stubbs. Production starts this year, and just 62 will be built. Each one will be customized to the owner's tastes and the company claims it provides so much scope for personalization that every car will be unique. Radford offers three starting specifications, which extract gradually increasing levels of performance from the sports car's V6 engine. The entry-level classic variant is designated as the purest's option, and comes with 430 bhp and a six-speed manual gearbox. The Type 62 to 2 Gold Leaf wears the same iconic red and white livery as Graham Hill's 1968 Lotus Type 49B Formula One racer. To back up the racy looks, it also gets a more potent 500 bhp version of the Lotus V6, which is backed up by a 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox. In the near future Radford will also launch a JPS version of the Type 62-2, which produces 600 bhp. Like the Gold Leaf, the JPS will also use a 7-speed double-clutch automatic gearbox. The JPS will almost certainly wear the same black and gold John Player Special livery, that featured on Emerson Fittipaldi's championship-winning Lotus Type 72 DF1 car, as Radford recently secured the rights to the artwork. New Radford Type 62-2, Chassis and Setup The Type 62-2 uses a Lotus chassis, although Radford has made a few changes to suit both the car's styling and increased performance. Using the same bonded aluminium chassis as the Lotus Elise and Exige, the new body on top is made from carbon fiber composites. The cabin is supported by a new carbon fiber crash structure which incorporates a rollover hoop and strengthening for the firewall and windscreen. All of this lightweight engineering means the Type 62 to 2 tips the scales at around 1000 kg, meaning even the least powerful model has a good enough power to weight ratio to keep up with the current crop of supercars. There's also a custom-made tubular rear subframe, which Radford says improves the car's rigidity and cornering performance. However, it serves an aesthetic purpose too, as it's visible from certain angles when viewing the car from the rear. The Type 62-2S underside is completely flat, and is designed to channel air towards the rear diffuser to generate downforce. That means the classic variant can get away without using a spoiler, while the faster versions need only a pair of small ducktails. The chassis setup also differs slightly between each model, the classic variant comes with staggered forged alloy wheels measuring 17 inches up front and 18 inches at the rear. The car also sits on adjustable coilover suspension and Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. Braking is handled by a set of four-pot AP racing calipers and iron discs, while the rear end is kept in check by a unique electronic stability program designed by Bosch. The 500 bhp gold leaf variant gets lighter two-piece forged aluminium wheels, which are an inch larger in diameter on each axle, along with a motorsport-derived traction control and ABS system which has been calibrated with the help of Jensen Button. To cope with the extra boost, the Gold Leaf's engine also gets a few upgrades, such as stronger con rods, new pistons, more aggressive camshafts, and a remapped ECU. Every version also comes with a titanium exhaust system. The 600 bhp JPS model will have the same chassis setup as the Gold Leaf, but with even lighter carbon composite wheels, monoblock calipers and carbon ceramic brake discs. There'll also be a larger rear diffuser and front splitter to generate more downforce. New Radford Type 62-2, Design and Interior For a modern recreation, there's plenty of similarities between Radford's Type 62-2 and the original Lotus Racer, including in dimensions it stands just 1,133 mm tall. In profile the car looks near identical to the Lotus original, right down to the doors which are both high-waisted and cut into the roof panel. 
The sports car's LED headlights have been designed to look like the classic Lotus, although Radford has added a modern touch at the rear with a connecting LED bar between the two clusters. Radford is also adamant that its clients will be able to use the Type 62 to 2 every day. Buyers can spec an optional nose lift system to allow the car to get over speed bumps, along with a custom luggage set from Mason & Sons, which slots under the front clamshell. The cabin isn't completely devoid of creature comforts, either. There's a 5-speaker stereo, a digital rear-view camera, and a 6-inch digital instrument cluster, which has a data logger and configurable displays for driving on the street or the track. Radford will work with each customer on the design of their car, allowing them to pick upholstery finishes, paint colors, and even make physical changes to the car's bodywork with bolt-on aerodynamic components. The bespoke nature of each vehicle means that there is no publicly available price tag. And today, the coach building company is releasing its first 62-2 variant. It's simply called the JPS, short for John Player Special, let's check this out. Radford revealed its Type 62-2 a month ago, and today the coach building company is releasing its first 62-2 variant. It's simply called the JPS, short for John Player Special. You'd be able to guess that just by looking at the car though, as it's completely done up in the traditional John Player Special black and gold livery. The Radford Type 62-2 JPS wears a modern take on the black and gold livery found on Emerson Fittipaldi's 1972 F1 racer and gets a bump in power to 600 bhp. Radford has pulled the wraps off an even more exclusive version of its coach-built Type 62-2 sports car, called the John Player Special. It'll make its public debut at this year's Goodwood Revival between 17 and September 19. Of the Type 62-2 S62 strong production run, Radford will only build 12 John Player Specials. Production will start later this year. With first deliveries expected to arrive in 2022, as hinted by its nameplate, the Type 62-2 John Player Special wears a modernized version of the iconic black and gold livery that most famously appeared on the Lotus Type 72D Formula One racer. Emerson Fittipaldi claimed five victories and the championship title in the car during the 1972 season. The same livery also appeared on Lotus Formula One cars until 1986, showing up for the final time on the 98T, which was driven by the legendary Ayrton Senna. However, it isn't just the livery that sets the JPS apart from the other versions of the Type 62-2, as Radford's engineers have managed to extract some more performance from the car's supercharged 3.5-liter V6 engine. Upgraded pistons, stronger conrods, more aggressive camshafts, and a larger supercharger sees performance rise to 600 bhp, up from 430 bhp, on the entry-level model. The standard car's manual gearbox has also been swapped for a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic. Radford has also thrown some excess weight out of the car, fitted some lighter carbon composite wheels and bolted on some upgraded carbon ceramic brakes, with the company claiming the JPS is closer to a race car than a road car. There are a couple of aerodynamic tweaks too, which help keep the JPS stuck to the track. Up front there's a deeper splitter which is balanced out by a more aggressive diffuser at the rear. The side intakes are also larger to help cool the more powerful engine. Jensen Button, one of the three main investors for the reborn British brand, said, The John Player Special Type 62-2 is the most extreme Type 62-2 that money can buy. It is low, sleek and powerful and sports one of the most iconic racing liveries ever created one of the liveries that the heroes of Formula One such as Emerson Fittipaldi and Ayrton Senna used to race with, in the cars that made me want to be a driver.